In today's tutorial, let's work on the modern rectangle granny afghan, and this is by our assistant, Jeannie. And welcome back to The Crochet Crowd. I'm your host, Mikey. Today, we're gonna to work on Jeannie's pattern, and this is called the modern rectangle granny afghan, just like you see here. Now, she's written the pattern in two ways, for baby size and or a large size like this. The baby size is 35 inches by 42, and the regular size that you see here for the adults is 52 by 64. It all depends on how you stop. So we're gonna be using Karen Cakes today in order to do this, but I wanna tell you a little bit about the color, and then I'll show you the yarn. So in the color that you see here, there's no doctoring of colors. If you know Karen Cakes, you know that there's several colors inside one ball. And if you look really carefully, see how you got the white here and then it transitions to a different color here. She's left it as it comes out of the ball. So she hasn't done any special work in order to get the colors to sit where it's gonna sit. And that's what's so fabulous about Karen Cakes is that it really does make a, a great project, especially for something like this. So let's show you the yarn and then you're gonna need a five millimeter size H crochet hook today in order to play. So you're going to need Karen Cakes like so and you'll need six balls if you're gonna do the adult size and only three if you're gonna do the child size. Jeannie's version is called Cake Pop and this one here that I'm gonna be demonstrating on camera today is called Bumbleberry just like so. It's got some great purples. As you can see the colors are inside and as the colors work themselves out into your project they will come out exactly where it comes out of the ball. So I'm not gonna cut the yarn in order to make every round exactly identical because the fact is is that once you get to a certain round in this particular afghan is that you cannot get all the way around with one color. So that's what makes it kind of really fabulous when it uh, has the final look. So let's grab our crochet hook and let's get started and I'll show you how to do it. So let's begin and we're gonna start off with the slip knot. Remember there are slower tutorials available if you're new to crochet if this is too fast for you. So we're going to be putting on to a slip knot onto the hook. Remember that never ever counts as one. So Jeannie's pattern it says that we have to chain 31. So just rotate the hook back and pull through. So one, two, three, four and five. Go all the way to 31 for me and meet me back here in just a moment. So let's start our first pass all the way around and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be coming down one side and then when we get to the other side we're gonna rotate around and come back on the other side. So this is the very center of your afghan. So when Jeannie has you start you're actually gonna be starting on one side here and then you're gonna be rotating around. So what we're gonna do is fourth chain from the hook and so what I want you to do is just count back. So one, two, three and four and what we have to do is that we have to put two double crochets into there. I turned it around and got the back loop of that stitch of that chain there so that I could do that. So I'm just gonna double crochet there and do it again just like that. Okay, so the chaining that you just skipped plus these two equals three double crochets. So now what I want you to do is chain one and I want you to go into that exact same chain again and I want you to put three double crochets in again. So one, two, and three. But you're not done and I want you then at this point is that we're gonna continue with the corner. So we're gonna chain one and we're gonna come back into the same one again for three more double crochets. So one, two and three. So what you've done is that you've started on one side here. So just visualize it like it's a rectangle. So you've started on this side, then you did the edge and now you're back on this side. So let's uh, begin to continue to work your way across this chain. So, so now that your corner is done, you need to work yourself across this chain. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come across the chain, we're gonna turn around and then come back to where we are here. So to begin, what we're gonna do is skip two chains. So one and two, go to the third and I want you to place two, or sorry, the three double crochets into that same chain. So one, two, and three. Okay, and we're gonna continue that same pattern going all the way across here. So let's just uh, recap again. So just skip two and go to the third one. So you notice that I'm not doing any chains or anything in between the, the groups of three. Okay, we don't need to do that with this particular um, level of instruction. Okay, so to recap again, skip two, go to the third over and put in three double crochets. Please do that all the way across. So I'm coming up all the way to the other side and if I skip two 
and the third one is the final stitch. Do you see that? So we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come around here, form the corner and go all the way back around. So skipping the two, go to the third and I want you to form a, uh, the side. So we're gonna put in three double crochets first. So one and this is exactly what you did when you started on the other side if you remember. Okay, so three double crochets followed by a chain one and then into that same stitch again put in three more double crochets. So you're just creating the turn. Okay, and then chain one and then back into that same one again. So there's a total of three of those all within that one chain. So that allows you to turn the corner to come back around. Just like that. So what we have to do is that we have to work down the opposite side of this chain then. So do you see how I kind of turned it over? So right where these groups are that's where you're gonna be playing. So you can either count it or you can just look for it. So you just skip to the, skip two. So one and two. This is the third. Do you see this is the opposite side. So just simply just put in three double crochets into there. So one. So right where you see the other groups of three it's the same one on the other side. That's all. And you wanna keep it consistent as well. Remember you're not chaining one in between when you're on the edge like this. Or okay so let's come to the next one here. So you skip two. Here's the third and again just look for the cues in order to make that work. Please do that same thing going all the way to the other side here and then I'll meet you there and I'll show you what to do next. So I'm coming up all the way to where I had started on the other side here and this is the last one and you can see that I'm about to run it into the, the other side. So all you just have to do is slip stitch to the top of the beginning chain three like this. So this is what it looks like at this point. You see it's a rectangular shape. You see it looks pretty good and now we're gonna move on to round number two. So let's move on to round number two. Every other round is gonna be done exactly the same way. The only difference is, is that your rows will get longer and so will your sides. So every time we go to a corner it will always be the same thing and every time we're dealing with the flat edge every other row or every other round it will be the same. So what, we, what we've done is that we've just joined to the top of the beginning chain three but we're in the wrong space to start the round of the next round. So we have to move over to the first chain one space here on the corner. Okay, so let's uh, begin to do that. So we're just gonna move over and we're gonna slip stitch two spaces. So one, just go right into the stitch and slip stitch and two and then you're gonna start into the first corner. So do you see how there's one, two and three just like that? We're gonna go into the chain one space right here and we're gonna single crochet and anytime there's a corner you're gonna do the same thing. So it'll be chain three, one, two, three and into the same space again for another uh, single crochet. So only on the corners will be single crochet, chain three, single crochet. Whenever it's a flat edge which is right where we are right now plus along here it'll always be the same. It'll be just chain three, one, two and three and then you just skip to the next available space after that group of three. So you happen to be in a corner again as we turn. So remember you just put in a single crochet, chain three and single crochet back into the same one that allows you to turn the corner. So now that we've done that is that we're gonna continue to go around. So whenever you're in a flat space you're always just gonna chain three and then just jump to the next available space that you see and single crochet right into the space and then chain three. Okay, jump to the next available space, single crochet, then chain three. One, two, three and then coming in. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that all the way across and then I'll meet you on to show you just a reminder on how to turn around in the corners. So I made my way across and you can see that there's chain three spaces here that I've been creating and now I'm ready to hit another corner. So I got this corner here and this corner over here. So remember what we need to do. We need to chain three, one, two, three and then we go into the first corner okay which is the next space anyway and single crochet and because it's a corner we chain three and single crochet back into the same spot. Okay so that allows you to turn that corner. Then chain three and the next one happens to be another corner. Okay so these uh, spaces get wider and wider because as we go around it'll get wider and wider on all sides. So chain three and single crochet into the same one just like that. So now coming across then the flat edge is exactly what you did on the other side. So chain three and then single crochet in the next space available to you. Chain three 
and coming into the next space. So it's a very quick round every time you have to do this particular round um, and it's the foundation then for the round after that. So please do that all the way back to the beginning and I'll show you what to do from that point. So when you get back to where you had started remember that you started off in the corner you slip stitched over. So what you gotta finish this so chain three and then you slip stitch then to the first single crochet that you had started with just like that. Okay, so then everything is now in balance. So let's begin round number three. So let's begin round number three. So this is gonna happen every other round. Okay, so we're gonna just go over and we're gonna slip stitch then to the first chain three space just like this. Okay, so let's just slip stitch in. Okay, and that gets us started to where we need to be. Now we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. This counts as a double crochet and we're gonna double crochet two more times into that same space. Just like that. So because this is a corner we wanna stay in the same space one more time. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna chain one. Okay, and then you come back into that same space again and you are going to put in three more double crochets. So one, two, and three. So now you just successfully just turned your corner. So now what you have to do is see this chain three space. You're gonna play within these spaces all the way around now and the only difference is is that when you have a corner you just have to adapt. So here's the chain three and you're gonna place in three double crochets right into that chain three space. Very easy to do. So you happen to run into another corner. So okay we come up really qu uh, quickly when we're on the, the shorter edge like this. So on the corners remember it's gonna always be three double crochets like this and then followed by a chain one and then three double crochets into the same one. Okay so that's how you turn your corner each and every time. So once you get a corner complete then you just work yourself across the edge. So in the chain three spaces each one gets three double crochets and there are no chain ones required for this particular type of, uh, of afghan. Usually in uh, granny squares that they have you chain one after each section. Here you're not. You're gonna keep it nice and tight together uh, so that those single crochets can sit in properly. So just continuing along and I'll meet you then at the next turning point just to make sure that you know how to turn around and then we'll just review quickly and call this tutorial quits for today because the basics of this pattern has almost been shown. So I've now just come to the other side. Remember that you have a chain three space which is part of your corner and so remember for the corners it's always gonna be three double crochets followed by a chain one. and then three double crochets into that same space. So and that's how you physically turn a corner when you're on this round. So every other round is this round that we're doing right now. So just turn around your project here. You got the flat space here so just the three double crochets into there and then your corners next. So every time you go around your corners get further and further apart from each other. So here's the next corner. Again what is it? It's three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. That's all within that corner. So you're just naturally turning your project around as you're working through it and then you're just coming along the edge. So just in your chain three spaces again just three double crochets. So what you can just do is I'll meet you at the end of this uh, round. It's, it's just a, over here and I'll just recap on how to get started in the next round once again and then you're gonna do exactly what you're doing exactly how I'm showing it now. So let's uh, meet you there in just a moment. So as you come all the way around remember you're just gonna continue in the same spaces and remember that you started by completing the very first corner so you don't have any more corners to do. Okay and you just join it to the top of the beginning chain three like that. So that's how you finish this uh, particular round every time that you get it done and the only difference is that every other round it's just gonna be bigger and bigger. So to start the next round remember what you have to do. You can't start where you are right now. You have to move over to the first corner. So slip stitch over two. So one and go to the next one for two and then start your, your spaces again. You're gonna do that single crochet like I already showed you. So in the very first one here the corner space single crochet, chain three, and single crochet. That's your corner. Okay so the rest of it here you'll see that it's a much bigger and wider than it was before last time we were here and you're gonna chain three 
and then just go in between the spaces where the groups of three are. Just like that. Okay, chain three, go into the next space in between, chain three, and the next one happens to be the corner. So in the corner space, you're going to single crochet, chain three, and single crochet back into there to do that corner and then just continue to turn your project, chain three and just go in between the spaces of the double crochets. Do you see that? The groups of three. So one, two and three and so you can just continue around and around as big as you need to go. You can do six balls then for the adult size version which is 52 inches by 64 if you wanna do that and if you only wanna do baby size it's only 35 inches by 42 and it only requires three balls of Karen Cakes yarn. So this is how to do Jeannie's uh, Modern Rectangle Granny Afghan. It's a great uh, design. I really like the colors. I think the colors in the Karen Cakes will really turn out pretty good and uh, you can use other colors of yarn as well for this particular design and you can, if you prefer your colors to be more doctored in the sense that you want uh, more consistency of your colors, of course you can use the same pattern. Just make sure that your hook matches your yarn and you can still use this exact same pattern. What, how much yarn you'll need if you change the yarn quantities, I'm not sure. So until next time, it's Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd. Thank you so much for joining us today. We'll see you again in the future for something more cooler and more exciting for crochet. There's always something happening. So we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.